Gates and Witten. 33 touchdowns since Romo became the starter in 06. And uh, they're expecting many more tonight. Romo back to throw. To the end of the Yeah, I don't think I would be where I'm at if Jason Witten wasn't the tight end, you know, for the Dallas Cowboys. I don't know that I've ever been around a player who's embraced being great at every part of his game. Day after day after day, week after week, year after year. I've always been a student of the game and, and had really good coaches along the way that have taught me the fundamentals. Been able to see coverages and, and find soft spots and zones and being a big target. I, I think that's it's quarterback's best friend. I mean, I think he's missed one game in 12 years. People just don't understand how incredible that really is. He's so competitive and so committed to his craft. The level of intensity to be as good as he can be and be the right example for his teammates, it's been remarkable. Oh, five-step drop, sets and looks, throws it down the left side, wins all along, touchdown with... I want to do everything I can as a tight end for the Dallas Cowboys to help be a part of the group that brings back the Lombardi Trophy to Dallas. I can't wait for to experience that. On the road this season, uh, Dallas good, like real good. They have won all the games. They're the best at football in third down, thirty points a game. Time of possession great. Yards of play, not much wrong there. They hope to continue it in New York tonight. And Chris, is, is Dallas really good enough to go out and take care of business in a spot like this, where on paper? They're the better team. Well, I just don't believe it's it's responsible as a broadcaster to think that this football team, with all the turnover these teams have year and out, that they should be responsible for Dallas's recent history. We should judge this team based on they only got a few players that have been around. We should base it on what they do. And I believe, well, let's face it, the Giants, that they're going to be able to get it done. I don't believe this is the same Dallas Cowboys. The reason why, I don't believe their defense is as good. But Tony Romo and their ability to be physical in that offensive line is totally different than what we've seen. Mm -hmm. So if they stick to their M.O., I look for Dallas to continue to have success and not be the like the Dallas teams that we have seen in recent years, Coach. Well, what Chris is saying is true. If Dallas doesn't win this game today, they're taking a big step backwards, really big step backwards, because the Giants have no defense. They can't run the ball against the Giants. Taking a big step backwards. They're just plucking along quietly. They're not bothering anybody. They're winning their football game. They're seven and three, and they just one game at a time. Run the football. Try to get Romo healthy. The Washington thing unfortunately happened, and then when they lost to the Redskins at home, and then they went over to London, they won a game. So they just that's where they are right now. And I just think the team, you know, I think in the end they're going to be one of the four teams in the end playing in the playoffs to get to the Super Bowl. I just I, I feel that way about this team. I'll judge this team, as you say, by what they are now and what they do now. But the collapses have been historic. They have been historic over the course of the last three years, which is a, 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 a minute part of that. The, the last month of the season is 12 football games. They are four and eight. So I'm going to make sure that that doesn't happen because I'm going to ride that horse, DeMarco Murray, to the barn. I am riding him all the way to the barn. He had the 19 carries a couple of times in a row. He's now...